Hi everyone, my name is Chidema of Amichi Food Court and today we'll be making oil stew. In this recipe, I'll be teaching you how to make your, your regular Nigerian stew without oil. So this recipe is perfect for those who are on a weight loss journey or those who are trying to maintain a healthy weight. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So we'll be making use of chicken, water to boil the chicken of course, tomatoes, pepper, paprika, chili peppers, onions, and our seasonings. So the first step is to season and cook the chickens. I'll season with chopped onions, season everything seasoning, one teaspoon each of multi-purpose seasoning, ground ginger and garlic, and pepper soup mix. I love the flavor that pepper soup mix adds to my stew, to my beef, so it's always a must for me. Give that a good mix, then pour in water and cover and allow to cook for 20 minutes. While it's cooking, I'll transfer the pot to a bigger burner to cook, then I'll add water in my tomasaki wok, place a steamer over it, then pour in my fresh tomatoes, onion and peppers. I'll cover the steamer and allow this to steam on medium heat for 20 minutes. Once the chicken is cooked to perfection, I'll transfer it into an air fryer basket and I'll allow it to air fry. For 25 minutes and it is golden brown once the tomatoes are cracked open and you know it's steamed to perfection all you just have to do is just transfer it into a blender then blend now this is the water that is left from the steaming i allow the chicken stock to cook down a bit before pouring in the blended tomato and pepper mix Give that a good stir, then cover and cook on low to medium heat, stirring the stew at intervals until the stew thickens. Now, the secret to getting this stew not to slap or to be sour or tangy is baking soda. Add baking soda in beans while tasting it to remove that taste that tomato gives, then season with bouillon and add your air fried chicken. Give it a good mix, then cover for extra 5 minutes, let the flavors marry and get to know each other better, and our stew is ready. I set mine over rice and steamed veggies and my goodness, it was super delicious. With this recipe, you don't have to feel guilty while enjoying your rice. So guys, let me know in the comment section if you're going to be giving this a try and if you found this video very helpful, please click the like and subscribe button and I'll see you on my next video. Bye guys.